In science, we have a tendency to go into very specific and very technical details. This is important, but in many cases, there is also advantage to occasionally zoom out and think outside of the box. I'm Igor Ritsky, a senior scientist at the Department of Biological Regulation at the Weizmann Institute of Science. I'm married to Liad and father of Matan, Nadav, Noah, and Alon. In our research, we're trying to understand the activities of so-called long non-coding RNAs. RNA molecules are polymers which are found in cells, and they have been known for quite some time. Traditionally, they were thought to act as an intermediate between DNA, which stores information, and proteins, which carry out a myriad of activities in cells. Non-coding RNAs do not go on to produce proteins, but rather have independent functions, and we're trying to understand what these functions are and how they're carried out. We've made a series of discoveries about the evolution, the functions and modes of action of these link RNA genes, which have progressed our ability to understand their biology. We found that some of these genes carry out important functions. For example, they are essential for the ability of neurons to regrow following injury, or for production of specific proteins which are essential for cellular activity. We experimentally characterize what happens in cells or in organisms which do not have one of these link RNA genes. The tremendous challenge which we're facing is that we need to understand the activity of tens of thousands of different genes. We're building on the ability of new technologies to produce a huge amount of data. And we're developing algorithmic approaches which allow us to take this data and transform it into knowledge about the functionality of these genes. Professor Ron Shamir is one of the pioneers of computational biology in Israel. One thing I learned from Ron was how to identify the most interesting problems and I could learn a lot about both how to be a scientist, but even more so on how to be a leader. Igor has a unique ability to absorb and understand the enormous amount of scientific data. Shortly after joining the lab, he became the focal point and everybody came for him for advice and references. I think Igor has a great career ahead of him. Today, he's one of the leading experts in analysis of uh, the non-coding part of the genome, specifically link RNAs. My lab is very diverse, both in terms of the scientific background of the people, as well as in terms of their personal background. I'm very proud of it, and it's very important to me to promote both women and people that are coming from backgrounds that are not typically well represented in the Israeli Academy. It's a great honor for me to be recognized by this award and to become part of the community of the Blavatnik laureates. The favorite part of my job is when new data come in, and then I can look at it and analyze it, and for a short time, I'm the only one in the world that knows the answer. <laughs>